In today's video, I'm going to be showing you on how you can easily make clothing using custom use. So for those that don't know, making clothing on Roblox can be quite difficult, especially when you're starting out. And if you're a developer like me, you may not be used to making clothing. And luckily, I found this website that allows us to easily make clothing on Roblox. So if you head down to the link in the description down below, it's going to take you over to the custom use website, which looks a little bit like this. Now it's essential that you create an account before you start usage with custom use. Now as you can see, if we head over to custom use, if we head over to Roblox, and then all Roblox templates, you're going to notice that there's a ton of templates for us to use. So there is a pro tier to custom use, which allows you to get a couple more benefits. So as you can see, you get unlimited downloads, more pro templates, etc, etc. But today we're just going to be focusing on the three part of custom use. So let's try remixing an item here. And we're going to head over to an item. And then we're going to click on remix. Then what it's going to do is it's going to load a shirt up like this. So inside of the custom use editor, there's many things we can customize. So first of all, if we head over to colors, we're going to be able to customize all of the materials and colors of our clothing. So as you can see here, if I click on this part, um, I can change the color here and we can make this a white hoodie, a little bit like this. As you can notice on the right, we also have all of our textures. Let's just select the main part of the shirt here and then we click material, we're able to customize what the material of this is going to be. So as you can see, there's many different options from you to pick from. And I'm satisfied with this texture for the pocket and the default texture with the shirt. As you can see, we can also see what it would look like on a boy or a girl. And then once we've done that, what we can do is we can save it, give it a name, so let's just call it the white hoodie. And then I'm going to save and publish, and it's going to create this shirt on custom use. There you go. Now something also super useful is we can actually download our shirt, and it's going to download, there you go. And now what we can do is we can upload our shirt to Roblox. Now as you can see here, I also have a, another design I made here, which was a suit. And if you didn't know, you can actually copy images into Roblox and then you can drag it around on your suit until you find, or on your piece of clothing, until you find a suitable area for that image to be. You may also zoom in. And of course, you can also add text. So um, you could customize this here. So cookie. Once again, this maybe isn't the best design choice, but it's just demonstrating all the features of custom use here. And we can also make the text full, we can make it different colours, there's a lot of different options here. And finally, in addition to that, we can also draw. Now, an amazing thing about custom use is that you don't actually need to have a computer to do this. You can also use the mobile app, which also allows you to easily create clothing just like this inside of the mobile app. So now that we have our original piece of clothing downloaded, I'm going to head over to Roblox where I'm going to show you on how you can install it. Okay, so here I am on the Creator Hub, and you need to go to your group of selection, then head over to the Creations tab, then to Avatar Items, and then to Classics. Then make sure you're on Classic Shirts. This is how you can easily upload an item to Roblox so you can potentially sell it for Roblox or use it inside of your games. So I'm going to click on Upload Asset. As you can see, I can pick from a shirt, pants, decal, audio, video, etc. I'm going to click on Shirt. Then I'm going to click Upload, and I'm going to pick the shirt that Custom User made for me. As you can see, there it is. I'm going to call it White Hoodie. And then I'm going to say a White Hoodie. And then what I can do is I can upload it for 10 Robux. So I'm going to do that and upload it. It's going to load a little bit. And as you can see, if we now have a look at avatar items, classics, and then shirts, you're going to see that my white hoodie is here. So now what I can do is I can make it on sale. I can make it a 10 Robux. I'm just going to add to the description made with custom use. You don't have to do it, but I just want to do it so my audience is aware. 
And then once I've done that, I'm going to click open on Roblox. As you can see, here it is. And then what I can do is I can head over to Avatar. Then I can go to my clothing. And there you can see, I can equip it. And if we head over to our game, you're going to notice I have my wonderful shirt. So custom use really allows you to easily create a ton of different outfits, pants, all of these useful things, trousers, whatever you want to go for. And I think it's a really useful tool for developers who quickly want to make new shirts and designs for Roblox characters inside of their games, or just for the standard player who's interested in creating a couple of their own shirts. So I hope this video helped you today. That's all from me. Thank you for watching and bye bye.